What's up, everybody? It's Quillacillin, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black in the last episode. We got the Trio Badge, and in this episode, we are told by Fennel to go over here to the Dream Yard. Now, we've been here already, but we're here on a mission, and do I have cut yet? I think she gave me cut, so you know what? Let's go and teach that to one of my Pokemon. Booted up an HM. It contained Cut. Teach Cut to a Pokemon? Of course. Now, since I won't be using Pansier much through the game, I'll probably just use him for any HM moves we get in, uh, next couple of gyms. So, let's get rid of Leer, because that won't, uh, be all that necessary for us. And, um, Cut actually can be used in battle. So, that's always nice. I remember that, uh, my friend, he used cut all the time. You know, that was his, like, standard move, and... Oh, here we have Bianca. Hi, Quilla! Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon, too? I think so? Am I? Maybe. Let's see. I'm just really, really wondering how showing dreams works. I don't know. Oh, what was that? I think I heard a Pokemon. Hey! Did you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see! Let's. Oh my gosh. It's Amuna. That's exactly what Fennel told us to, uh, look for. So, let's see what he want. Who? No. These guys are back? Okay. Hi, Team Plasma guys. Um, what are you doing, Amuna? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Don't kick, Muna. Only have your Pokemon kick it. Yeah, that's basically... What uh, Pokemon is, and I remember I was online and I was reading an article that, like, the National Assembly for Animal Rights or something sued Pokemon or something like that because they thought it was showing animal cruelty, which is kind of stupid. But um, uh, there's some weird people out there, guys. So, uh, right here we have a battle with Team Plasma for the first time. And, he has a Patrat. Who would have guessed? I know I wouldn't have. It's like the rarest Pokemon in the game. It's not like every Team Plasma member has some form of a Patrat. You know, it's not like that in any game. You know, it's not like Team Rocket had Zubats or... How Team Galactic had, uh. Perug. No, not Perug. Glammeow. Glammeow, that's what they're called. Gosh, I'm playing Pokemon Platinum right now as a Nuzlocke. I. Ugh. I don't know what's wrong with me. But we. Plasma! We defeated him and got $400. That is nothing. Come on. We're not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever, I'm next. Here we go. Battle with Team Plasma Grunt number two. Now, uh, there are different gendered, um, Team Plasma Grunts. There's male and female, and, uh, some people can't tell the difference between their sprites, but if you look close enough, the female, um, characters have, like, little orange tufts of hair coming out of their hood, and, while well, the males don't, so... If you were wondering if it's a boy or a girl talking, there you go. That's how I was able to get my voice right. Ish. Here we take out Purloin, which is yet another Pokemon that every single member of Team Plasma is going to have. Ah, uh, and we're just short of leveling up. And most of them do say that Plasma thing. But, um... We have to obtain the Dream Mist! 
Don't kick it again. No. Bad Team Galactic run. No, Team Galactic? Oh my god. Whoa. It's that guy. Gets this. What are you two doing goofing off? Oh my god. What? what huh? We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties. This isn't... Titus, when he gets gathering followers... I don't know what I just said there. Okay, so they're just talking to each other. And, uh, they run off. And... Where'd Getsis go? And... Is that... Is that Musharna? No way. You mean... Both Muna and Musharna are here? Wow, okay. That's... That's interesting, guys. And here's Fennel. I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Money! What it said there is, I want money, and, uh, here's some thing in a Pokeball. I pooped out a Pokeball. Oh, Fennel! Well, you see, Muno was here, but Team Plasma and Muno, and Musharna came, and then it showed us something like a dream, and then Team Plasma... Eh, shush, Bianca. You don't say anything that makes sense. So, um... Oh, so Musharna can make dreams a reality. That's... It's kinda scary. Now I'm happy that Team Plasma didn't get their hands on it. Is this Dream Mist? With this, I can complete my research. You two come to my house later, okay? Phew, how random was that? Well, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm gonna go look for the book you just saw right now. Now, although Muna do appear around here, I don't want to catch one. Although they are pretty good, I have... Another psychic type that I'd rather put on my team. So, when we get to that point in the game, I think you guys will know which one it is. Um, it's like halfway through the game, actually, which makes me kind of sad, but that's okay. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some dream mist, and now I can collect the save files of various trainers. No, you just broke the fourth wall. That never happens in this game. Well, Pokemon in general, they never break the fourth wall, but thanks a lot, Fennel. You suck. You suck. Quilla obtained the Sea Gear. Warning, please turn off... Sea... Please turn Sea Gear off in places such as airplanes and hospitals where wireless communications are prohibited. Uh, yeah, I'll turn it on to show it off. Um, on the bottom screen, we have... The Sea Gear. You see, the sea gear was activated, and that screen showed up. If you touch the question mark icon in the bottom right hand of the bottom right of the screen, you can read about the sea gear. Bleh, I can't read. What is wrong with me? About Game Sync, I'd like to explain a little more about the system to collect trainer save files. Uh, no, I'll just explain that now. Um. Game Sync allows you to connect to Pokemon Global Link on the internet, and you can get special Pokemon and items from that. So, I'll probably show it off later in the game, when I get to a point where I can actually use that. Um, at the moment, I can't, because you have to be in a certain section of the uh, region to use it. So, eh. It... It's good once you get farther in the game. And it's really good if you're a breeder. I'll, sh I'll show that sometime in the future also. Amanita. Oh, trainer. Thank you very much for helping Fennel. This is for me. Please take it. Don't be shy. And we get a... Palpad. Quill put the Palpad in the key items case. Okay, so this is for friend codes. So... Uh... It's a pretty good system. It works out. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Did I talk to you yet? Oh, no, computer. Bad computer. Bad. 
Bad child. Okay. Yeah, I, I do use it. Yeah, I know about the battle box. I don't know if I talked to Amanita in the last episode or not, but that's okay. Uh, so now, since we got the sea gear, and we saved Muna, uh, let's, uh, leave, and head off to the other end of town, actually. We haven't been over here yet. Well, what's this old guy have to say? Whoa! It's a shiny gym badge! Getting that badge proved you have skill enough to handle whatever comes next. Okay, well, um, since... We did do a lot in this episode, and uh, our time is running a little short here. I'm going to end it off here, so next time, on Let's Play Pokemon Black. We will be heading through this uh, for uh, flower garden gate thingy of death. So, see you guys next time.